Hello and welcome to Black Dog Hockey's presentation of the 2022 CHF Federation Cup, streaming live from the Iceline Quad Rinks in Westchester, Pennsylvania. And it is the final day of the Fed Cup. This morning we have the third place matchup, and it is the University of South Carolina Gamecocks taking on the Ramapo College Roadrunners. Luke Puck in the neutral zone here, bouncing around along the center ice red line, picked up there and brought into the zone by Rudman. Rudman gets it deep in the offensive zone, gets it through the goaltender, and it sneaks in the far post. The goaltender, though, not quick. Or, yeah, it's a, the, the referee does signal a goal. He was a little bit slow to get to that call there as it snuck through McGarry inside that far post, and it's going to be South Carolina on the board first, 40 seconds in. Maybe the quickest goal of the tournament so far. Just can't quite connect on that one to Klutkowski. Now a loose puck in towards the blue line. Pasquiel picks it up, shot in on goal, save is made. There was a rebound there briefly and held onto there by Russell with the glove hand. Blue line of South Carolina picked up and move up ice. This is a good stretch pass, chance in the offensive zone. And what a shot there right under the bar. Bar and in, Ronan Mulcurin with the second Gamecocks goal. And it's a two nothing lead. Eight minutes into the game, that one was a laser beam. That was an absolute beautiful shot. Carolina playing hard, looking to get that bronze medal and go back on that bus, on that long nine, 10 hour bus ride. It'll make it a lot more fun on the way back, Aaron. Here Christopher Dressler carrying the puck up ice. He's a dangerous player. He's already got 20 points in the tournament, make it 21 as he gets the Ramapo Roadrunners on the board. Nice move there to the forehand and he tucks it past Russell and the Ramapo Roadrunners are on the board. It's a 2-1 hockey game. And now up ice with some speed is Peter Pasquiel. Across the blue line, now gets a pass in front. He's got a man right there, nice setup. And Ramapo has tied the game up. Holding Gruber, the senior comes in, jumps up into the play. Perfect position is the trailer there. Now it's Christopher Dressler back in the other way. Three on two, setting up for Ramapo. Pass into the slot, Maurer lets the shot go. And then it ends up deflected into the back of the net. And now we wait to see what the officials will say about this one. Puck comes in towards the slot. It was definitely hit with a stick above the crossbar. 3-2. And just unable to tell exactly uh, how that one got put home. Either way, it's a 3-2 score. Keeps moving here in the offensive zone. Back out in front to Dada. Back to the point, Baker shot right in off the right arm of the netminder, Russell. Carolina a chance to clear the zone. Reed carries it up ice, maybe setting up a possible break. Gets that one to a teammate. Berman shot in on goal, arm save made. Back in the other direction, this is Eddie Dada with speed, and it's end up kicked into the net as uh, right there on the spot was uh, the referee heading. Black Dog Hockey is your location to watch great collegiate hockey all throughout the year. There are over 3,000 games on demand available on BDEHockey.com. And now we have South Carolina getting what appears to be the tying goal here in this game as a little bit of a uh, casual celebration in front of the net. But the Gamecocks have tied it up. Really a nice chance to get a, a loose puck there from a close proximity to the net. And now he gets it here in front of the net, turns and spins a backhand in front. Second opportunity for Wilkins there. Goal. Save is made. I know it's not, it actually gets past the netminder as it's Wilkins getting the goal and it's now a 4-3 lead in favor of the Gamecocks. Their goal, so 22 points for the big fella. Now he's looking for more as he comes into the offensive zone and oh my, 23. what a shot there. Barring in on the far side, Christopher Dressler continuing to show that he is, if not the most dangerous man in this tournament, it, certainly one of them. He has been deadly with the puck on his stick, and here he is yet again. Gets it up to Rudman. Rudman in across the blue line, takes the shot. Save is made, a rebound opportunity. You know, we talked about Dressler scoring, but we've seen some great goal Here he goes here again. He comes Dressler again. in on the breakaway. Period. Dressler looking for the third. Forehand, backhand, puts it past the goaltender. And there is yet another hat trick for Christopher Dressler as the numbers that he puts up in this tournament continue to astound. 24 points, absolutely unbelievable. He comes in, he makes a move, just so smooth. Seven different seniors that are in the lineup here for South Carolina. One player who's injured not getting the opportunity to play as one of the seniors for Ramapo gets an opportunity in the offensive zone. That's Eddie Dada. Hard low wrist shot past Gormley. It's now 6-4 Ramapo as Eddie Dada gets on the board here in this bronze medal game. He's another one looking to be a member of that all-tournament team. He's had his 
effect on this tournament. He's had hat tricks as well. He's effective shorthanded. He's effective power play. He's one of the players for Coach Toy that gets a lot of ice time well deserved. Well, the experience of being here is uh, is going to be irreplaceable for anybody that's coming back for these two programs. The ability to play in a big tournament like this to deal with that six-day battle. Replay coming up here in just a second. Oh, off the crossbar. Thing. Ooh, ping and Great out. Great camera work. Mauer takes a stick check, keeps it in though. Kimball's shot fanned upon. Moskal though picking it up, looking for that shooting lane himself. Gets it to Dressler down low, just in the skates of Dressler. Now tries to bank it off the goaltender. Only just a little bit. Fortunately for him, just missed the net wide. Dressler. Quickly out in front. Look at that long reach of his. It looked like he picked that one up right along the backboards and had it quickly out oh. in front and again, using that hard wrist shot to his advantage. Let's that one go. Top of the circle, off the pad and in. It's now 7-4 Ramapo and Christopher Dressler continues to put just absurd statistics up in this tournament. This is his 25th point of the tournament. 25 points. He just comes right out. It's not like Gormley's in bad position and he's not ready. Just amazing to watch. The senior Peters keeping it in there on the far side. Campo Minosi gets oh, in the no. way and now here comes Dressler for one last breakaway. Dressler to the forehand. Oh, oh nice save by Gormley <laughs> staying with him there as uh, that little sneak move there. Just unable to get it past him for Dressler's fifth of the game. And now we get a shot on goal here. <laughs> goaltender shot on goal as the South Carolina bench booing the Ramapo goaltender for not allowing that one in. And it's going to be the Ramapo Roadrunners finishing their season with the victory in the bronze medal game. Ramapo winning this one by a 7-4 score over the South Carolina Gamecocks. Both teams, the team in red, South Carolina Gamecocks, the team in white, the Ramapo College Roadrunners. Hats off to players from both sides for giving us a great contest here this morning. Hello, I'm Siobhan Nolan joining you from the bronze medal game of the CHF Federation Cup. I'm here with Ramapo College's Chris Dressler, player of the game. They just won. So, Chris, you had an insane tournament. The numbers you put up were incredible. You know, you, you guys did win the bronze medal. So just how are you feeling about your experience overall? Uh, you know, we're, we're grateful to be, even be here. Like, we, we have a great team. This guy right here kept us in it the entire time. You, you do this with me. What? Kept us in it the entire time. Uh, you know, it stings a little bit to obviously get there. You know, you're here for the whole entire thing. But like I said, you know, we'll, we'll take third. We'll come back strong next season. And that's all we can do. And then what's the biggest takeaway that you guys have from this experience just growing as a team, being here and getting to play on a national stage? Uh, I mean, this has been the greatest experience with us as a group of guys. But uh, it really has been nothing but special. Sorry. <laughs> I don't even remember what I was saying, but uh, no, it's been great. This has been awesome. All the guys together, it, it really, it's been great, but I can't say anything else. You guys can. Well, I just wanted to say congratulations. You guys obviously had a great tournament. You must be so tired, but left it all out. I congratulate you guys on your great play. Uh, part of what we're doing for the all tournament MVPs is a stick and a pair of gloves. So our stick's the lightest one in the market, 350 grams. Should be pretty good for you. But uh, happy to connect with you guys. Congratulations, and uh, we'll see you, next, see you next year. Thank you so much for joining us for this contest as Ramapo wins this one, and they defeat the South Carolina Gamecocks by a score of 7-4 to, to win the third-place trophy here today.